Welcome back to Papa Z's Bees. Today we're going to do uh, the uh, inspection on the kitchen hive. Uh, we haven't done anything with it since we extracted honey. I'll put that video as well as uh, the video on the uh, uh, things we did on the corner hive so you can check that out as well. So it's going to take a little bit. So here we go. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is we're going to kind of smoke them, let them know we're here. They're hopefully all out. A lot of them are out uh, foraging. Uh, apparently from what I see on bscape.org, this is a good forage day, so we'll just see. So the first thing we'll do is we'll take the lid off here. And we'll take the visor off. And of course, I didn't bring any gloves out here. These bees are always pretty, really uh, gentle, but uh, it's real sticky normally in here, especially after uh, we've had a done a, an inspection or a, a extraction, sorry, like we did here a week or so ago. This stuff on top here is called propolis. That's what the bees use to stick stuff together, and they really do. You can see it all over the place. It's really hard to get that off. So the next thing we'll do is we'll give them some smoke up here. I want to get this uh, flow frame off, flow hive off of here. Yeah, we do have some burr comb here, so I'll clean this up. And the next fun thing is going to be to get this lift off this box. Uh, it's really it's full, so it's going to be it's really heavy. And if you look at the last video on the on the corner hive, you'll see how much trouble we had actually getting them apart. And when I pulled it up, it pulled up a bunch of. Uh, a bunch of bees or a bunch of frames and we just hope and pray that the queen wasn't in there so if you'll remember on a on a sugar shake what we do is we pull some frames out and there's some good uh, brood there but not enough for uh, for the shake, so we'll go a little deeper. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's, I don't know if you see it, but there's a lot of really nice larvae in there. Older larvae, but it is larvae. So we're gonna start, we'll just go across here as we go. So what we have to do is shake bees off of where brood is. And what that does, um, that gives us nurse bees because they're the ones who tend the brood. More over here. Lots of nice looking brood here. So again, we'll shake this off. And the bees that fly away will be, um, will be foraging bees or adult bees or older bees. Flying high. I've not seen them this excitable before. Now this one and probably one more will be enough because we have to get a, a half a cup of bees. And now we start. 
start getting to the area where you want to look for the queen. See some drones, but no queens. Okay, that's probably enough. I mean, we've seen enough to know that they're in here good. some stains here so they're not real happy with what's going on so I'll have to that's one thing you can do to prevent more stains is to uh, put the uh, smoke on them and that kind of masks the smell out a tad. You want them kind of centered in the middle. Yeah, they're not real happy today. So what we do is we take these bees that have been, that are basically nurse bees, shake them down into the bottom here Get a half cup measure and drop them down. Then we dump this over upside down and start shaking it. Now we'll put the lid on it so we don't lose any of the sugar. There's just powdered sugar in here. They are not happy with me today. just all over the place. They're not wanting to move. And now we'll put this back on because there'll be a little bit more of a flow in the fall. And let's scoot it across like this and that will help move the bees out of the way. The lid on here for just a second. Because what I want to one of the things the great things about the about the sugar meth, sugar uh, roll method is that you really don't kill the bees that are in the in the roll. So you basically just what I'm doing, I'm rolling it. Okay, that's been about two minutes that they've been in there. So now what we'll do is we'll turn this thing upside down and that way that we through the little filter, uh, the bees will, uh, the, the mites will, will fall down in here in, in with the, along with the sugar. And so now we'll unscrew the lid here and that was where all the, the, the powdered sugar and the mites go. So now we'll just put, put the bees back in there. method here to kind of push the bees off so we kill as little as possible. Let's get all the bees out of here because this will be closed up area in you know, just a minute. I'm 
let the bees calm down a little bit and we'll go in and, and uh, look at the the powdered sugar and see how many's in there. Let them eat the clean up the honey. And then we'll get you results. Thanks. Okay, this is the this is the mite count from the, the kitchen hive. One. And that's it. That's pretty amazing, but that's not unlike uh, any other might, walk, uh, might check I've ever done on that hive. Uh, they're bee weaver bees and they do not tolerate mites. That's awesome. Mm -hmm.